How Children Succeed is a book of stories about people, but at its heart, it's a book about an idea. And the idea that is at the center of this book is that the conventional wisdom that has governed our thinking about education and child development for the past couple of decades has been misguided that we've been emphasizing the wrong skills and abilities in children, and we've been using the wrong strategies to help them develop those skills and abilities. The name that I give to this conventional wisdom is the cognitive hypothesis. And what I mean by that is the idea that I think a lot of us share, even if we don't often speak it out loud, that the one quality that really matters in a child's success is his or her IQ that it's that narrow band of cognitive skills that get measured on standardized tests that really make the difference in terms of whether children succeed or fail. I think it's behind our national obsession with test scores. Even when we, as individuals, as parents or teachers, tell ourselves that those tests don't matter, uh, I think as a nation, we've invested them with a whole lot of importance. And I think we do that because on some level, we believe they measure what matters. But the scientists and educators who I'm writing about in this book have identified a very different set of skills that they say matter at least as much as IQ, and arguably more. They include skills like grit, curiosity, conscientiousness, self-control, optimism. Economists call these non-cognitive skills. Psychologists call them personality traits. Neuroscientists often use the term executive functions. And educators, and I think a lot of regular people, think of them as character.